What you guys got another mini PC review here for you. This is the Azul Byte 4 fanless mini desktop PC. Now, if you're looking for a low power consumption fanless uh, mini PC, which means you're going to get low noise, then this is an option for you. It does have Windows 10 Pro, but also runs Linux if you want to. It does have the Gemini Lake processor in here and four gigabytes of RAM, which is upgradable, can support 4K movies at uh, 60 frames per second. You do get some drop frames, but it is pretty good at that. Also, storage does come with eMMC at 64 gigabytes of storage, but you can upgrade to a two and a half inch, uh, two terabyte solid state drive. And it also has the M.2 slot for an NVMe drive on the board. This is exactly what you can expect to get inside the kit when you buy yours. It does have a warranty card and it has a user manual with color pictures and also all the information about technical support and other things like that so pretty useful but it does have a thermal pad with some screws here this is in case you want to upgrade with an nvme drive inside the unit itself plenty of upgradability in this one you got your power adapter here this does have a two pin adapter on it which you can remove and put in a uk plug on here do like this design i wish all of the other types of companies uh, reverted to this because it just makes it so much easier and again, you've got a nice long cable here with that barrel connector on the end for the power input. So let's take a look at the unit itself. A very nice, small design, fanless, as you can see. And uh, on the front here, we do have our power button, uh, which does have a LED light on it. And also we have the Byte 4 uh, logo on the front here. On the side here, we have some ventilation here to allow air to come out of the unit itself. On the back, we've got our antennas, which is a dual band AC Wi-Fi setup here. Very good range on these Wi-Fi antennas I found in my testing. Also, we've got the VGA port here, and we also have our headphone port at the back here. HDMI on this one, and we also have the LAN port on here as well. We also have a Kensington lock on this one at the bottom right here. And also we have the display port here, which means you can have dual monitor display if you wanted to, a PoE port on the back, and also the power input right here as well. Moving on round to the side of the unit itself, we do have some USB 3.0 ports. We have four of these on here, which means plenty of room for expansion and also plugging in your external devices. We have the type C port here as well, which is an added bonus and the micro SD card slot, which takes up to 512 gigabytes. So you can see here, it does have plenty of room for upgrades and storage. So if you're looking for a media uh, server here, then this might be an option. And because it's a fanless design, it means it's gonna be ultra quiet. Now, moving on to the bottom of the unit here, we can remove the bottom plate here just to get access to the inside. So I'll show you in here right now, these little rubber feet will just unscrew and basically you'll be able to do some upgrades to your unit, which I would advise you to upgrade the memory because four gigabytes of one stick is just not dual channel and it's just not gonna work as well as having two sticks in here. So that's the first thing I would upgrade here. So you've got plenty of room for upgradability on the memory. You've got this little power adapter here and SATA cable, which is for your SSD, which can take up to a two terabyte inside here, which is a really nice added bonus. Or internal storage here you can also add in a m.2 nvme drive in here as well which is a really nice thing to add because again you can then take off uh, the uh, internal storage which is 64 gigabytes and route that to the m.2 here and maybe run your windows operating system from there and make it a lot more faster and have more internal storage on there which is also an option available to you so plenty of options for upgradability, very lightweight. When you first power yours on, you're going to have to do some setup, which basically means giving your uh, selection for your language and your keyboard layout and all those sort of things. And it will then prepare your user account and get you set up. Pretty straightforward stuff. It does come with Windows 10 Pro uh, pre-installed and activated uh, version 2004 which is on this little unit. Again, you can upgrade this and update it to the latest version when you get yours. This is the actual desktop, just like you would with any sort of desktop PC. So what are you gonna be using this mini PC for? Well, you can pretty much use this for email, you can use it for web surfing, and you can also use it for running Microsoft Office programs, 
video streaming, 4K YouTube videos if that's what you want to play, and you can also use Kodi and Plex on here as well. So got plenty of options available, and I'm pretty sure if you want to play some light gaming on here, you can do so as well on this little mini PC. So looking at Task Manager here, I just wanted to show you some specs on here so you can see generally what you're going to get. So in the Performance tab, the CPU is a Intel Celeron a J4125 CPU running at 2.0 gigahertz, which is four cores and four threads. Looking at the memory here, we have four gig installed on here. Upgradability is pretty good. Slots use one of four and the sodium memory 2400 megahertz speed. So that is the speed of memory that you'd want to buy if you're going to be upgrading. The drive on here is just a generic SLD 64 gigabyte internal storage. It does play 4K content no problem at all. So if you've got movies and you want to play, maybe you've got a Plex server or something like that you want to play your movies on, on a fanless mini PC, you get real immersive sound from, from your speakers because so you can hear everything and no fan whirring away. So quite a nice experience with the uh, movie playback on here. It will play 4K uh, streams on YouTube at 60 frames per second. You do get some drop frames on 4K content on YouTube when you're streaming, but it doesn't ruin the experience. You can play some light gaming on here. And when I say light gaming, this is Asphalt Legends. And this is probably going to be about as far as you're going to want to push this little mini PC because it has the Intel 600 uh, UHD on here for their graphics, which means it's not the best graphics, but I don't think it's marketed as a mini gaming PC. So make sure before you buy any sort of mini PC, just make sure it covers all the bases that you want to buy that mini PC for before you splash out the cash, because these are pretty expensive little devices. Now, this little device is not too bad. As I've said, it's great for video conferencing. So maybe you've got some sort of calls that you have to do. We're all working from home. So maybe you have to do some sort of video conference calls now and again. And it'd be great for something like that as well. Browsing the web, it's very good at doing that. You can see really fast response times, no problem whatsoever at loading up pages and having no problem with browsing the web. Other tasks like screen capturing and doing other sort of uh, calls like that, you could do that quite easily with this device, no problem at all. Video editing might be a bit of a push. Looking at the utilization here, I've got a video running with a couple of web browsers open. And again, that four gigabytes of RAM will soon start to run out. So I think it would be good to say that you would want to upgrade that first to make sure that you get at least eight gigabytes of RAM running in dual channel, which will have a better experience. The sequential reads and writes on here, 259, uh, reads and 143 writes, 22 and also 28 reads and writes for 4K content as well on that uh, internal storage there. The temperatures and thermals are not too bad. When you do start to uh, tax the system a little bit, the temps do climb a little bit as you would expect because it is a fanless design, but it works pretty well and I found no problems with it uh, with my testing. All in all, the Azul Byte 4 is not a bad option for lightweight duties. Uh, if you're looking for an out and out gaming mini PC, then maybe this isn't for you, but I'll leave all the information in the video description. I want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.